the dress to us mean an identity. It means a, a sense of belonging. When you look at our dress today, it's actually, uh, we copied it from the missionary's wives, 19th century. We have inherited it, yes, that is true, for people who have been oppressing us. But it has become now hero dress, and it's no longer being seen as Victorian dress. I think the hero people have a very rich culture. The historical background is a set one. It's a dark history of the genocide. Despite that, they are still a very proud community. We as heroes, we have taken this dress and we have modified it to our customs. Like when you look at the headdress, Oshikaiva, it is uh, the horns of a cow because the cows are very important to us hereros. The petticoat is between four and six that people are wearing. So it's, it's, the, it's the petticoat, it's the dress itself, but then earrings and everything that should also fit the colors of the dress. So the hero dress uh, has evolved over the years. It's like a cultural piece that changes with the times. It's a way of also taking the history from generation to, to generation. So that is somehow giving us that sense of victory that uh, despite the extermination order, we survived the genocide. Despite the 15,000 people who survived, we, we imaged as a strong community. For us, this is something that we took and we made it ours. That's why we can proudly wear it.